You don't need to be folded to the inside, obviously. So here, this is the inside of the fabric. We mark up those two slits together. And we pull that down to where we've got our little red stitches. And we just need to pin that. And same with the other one. Now you see when, when we stitch this line, we're going to get our dart on the front like that. So repeat this with the darts on the back piece and stitch them all up. This is the back piece. We need to iron all the darts in towards the centre. So the two at this side in that way and the two at this side the other. And give it a do on the other side. front piece, iron them both toward the centre. You're going to notice that I've overlocked the edges. It's not necessary but I like to do it so I didn't include it in the tutorial because it's an extra detail that's not important. Right, this is the back. We place it, these are the darts here, we place it the right way up like that. Then we take the front piece and we place that right side down with the darts here and we lay it to match all the way down the side there. Now take whichever zip you're going to use and make a note of how long that zip is there and we put a pin horizontally at the length of the zip. Now we pin the rest of this seam right down to the hem. And now we're going to stitch that one centimetre from the edge, which is the seam allowance we drew on our pattern. Take your fabric and open it out across the seam that you've just stitched, which you can see here. Now we need to split that seam like that, open it flat and iron it flat like that. And then also the bit that we haven't stitched up at the top here, we need to also fold that back one centimetre like the seam allowance and iron that. Now, 
take the zip and place it underneath the fabric and we're just going to pin it into place the other side and we want to get the two edges of the fabric as close together as we can okay. and now we're going to stitch it once we've stitched it we'll be able to close and open the zip through there so first we're going to change the foot, take off the ordinary one and replace it with one that looks like this, which is for zips. It's best to start at the bottom of the zip and do the two sides independently. get to the part with the zip pull, open the zip because it stops your stitches from going in a wiggly line. Back to the bottom. This time we need to swap the foot to the other side and we're going to start by crossing the bottom. Be very careful that when you stitch through the zip here you don't break your needle, go very slowly. Again, pull the zip down, making sure the needle's still into the fabric. Now again, lay the skirt right sides together and pin the other seam and stitch it one centimetre from the edge. Again, open the seam flat and iron it flat. Okay, now for the hem. We allowed three centimetres for the hem on the pattern, so first we need to fold over three centimetres and iron that down. And then just tuck it inside itself and iron it again.
Okay, now we're just going to take that and top stitch it on the machine. Okay, this is cotton tape. It's basically a ribbon that's just made out of cotton. You're going to take the waist of the skirt now, starting on the right side of the fabric, near the zip. We want the cotton tape to stick out a little there. And we're going to pin it just around half a centimetre from the edge of the fabric. And we're going to do that all the way around the waistband. If you don't have cotton tape, you can use a piece of ordinary ribbon. When you get to the seam, make sure the seam lays flat underneath. And again, leave it sticking out a little on that side. Now remember that we also left one centimetre seam allowance on this side. So we want to stitch a line here that's one centimetre from this edge. Okay, so now we've stitched it on. Firstly, take the iron, you're going to fold the tape upwards and iron it in an upwards direction. Now turn it to the inside and you're going to use that nice ironed edge as the top of the skirt. And then iron the tape to the inside. And when you get to that part with the extra that you've got sticking out, just fold it in and make it have a nice neat edge on the inside like that. That one is going to need a pin to hold it there. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to take that to the sewing machine. I'm just going to stitch this edge so that it holds the tape flat against the skirt. And that's it. All you need to do now is iron it and put it on.